We go now to CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Baradelli, who joins us from New York. Jeff, these tornadoes appear to be historic in strength and devastation. What can you tell us? Well, it's extraordinarily rare for December. December is usually our most quiet month, but look at this map right here. So let's talk about the factors that led to this. Now, as in any tornado outbreak, you have a huge contrast between cold to the north and warm to the south. What was unusual is just how warm it was. Memphis hit a record high of 80 degrees, and that's why we think that climate change is beginning to factor in. But I think the bigger factor is La Nina, and I'll tell you why. La Nina is present right now, and the latest research shows that we see an increase in tornado activity right there where we had the tornado outbreak on Friday night in the mid-Mississippi Valley area. So that's the overriding factor. So climate change, let's talk about that. I should first say that there's no trend in tornado numbers due to climate change. However, it may be making the environment more favorable, especially on outbreak days because you add more warmth, more energy, it's like storms on steroids, and more moisture, that's a more favorable environment for supercell thunderstorms and tornadoes. I think the biggest shift we're seeing because of climate change, the latest research shows a shift in the actual location of the increase in tornadoes across the Mississippi Valley into the Mid-South area. That is a more densely populated area, and they tend to happen at night, which makes these tornadoes more dangerous. Margaret? Important context, thank you, Jeff.